to this rebroadcast of an interview with Chris Shea, founder of Life's Journey Life Coaching. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com. Presents the Professionals Roundtable with Muriel Donnelly, 9 to 2 p.m. Hear what's hot in the professional world. Timely topics to propel your career to the next level. Professionals Roundtable, 9 to 2 p.m. Exclusively on Empire Broadcasting. Good afternoon and welcome to Empire Broadcasting. I'm your host, Muriel Donnelly, and this afternoon we have a wonderful gentleman with us. He is the founder and CEO of Life's Journey Life Coaching, LLC, from Leonardstown, Maryland. Welcome to the show, Christopher Shea. Well, thank you. It's uh, great to be here on the show. I appreciate you having me. Thank you for being with us. I'm very, very excited to find out all about Life Journey Coaching. Um, so why don't we start off, Chris? Why don't you give our, our listeners out there a little history about yourself and uh, and then basically, um, you know, how you started um, Life's Journey Life Coaching? Well, Life's Journey Life Coaching has, uh, in its, current uh, form has been around for a little over a year, uh, although it began, uh, I guess, about four years ago now as just a simple blog. Um, I've been in the helping and counseling profession now for a bit over 20 years, and I've always wanted to help other people. And one of the things I had noticed while I was a counselor and administrator is, is that, you know, as people got well, their lives were totally changed, and, and that was wonderful. But there are so many people out there who don't meet criteria to go into treatment, uh, but whose lives really aren't, you know, just day-to-day going as well. You know, they're, they don't have their inner peace and you know, so many people were finding that through uh, the treatment process. So one of the things I started wondering is how do we bring that process to people who just don't, you know, need to go to treatment, you know, but really want to find just a, a peaceful type life. So after a bit of a transformation in my own life of finding mindfulness and slowing down a bit, and I left the corporate world and the CEO positions and, uh, those things, and, and I started writing uh, this blog. And my intention at the time was just to share some of what was going on in my life and some of my insights and things like that. And what it's now turned into is a uh, private practice here in town as well as a podcast. And I continue to write, and uh, I travel the country now giving uh, speeches and all. So we're... Uh, We've grown and getting that message out there, and we continue to grow. So very excited about all that. Wonderful. Now, I have to say, with with the majority, with 9 out of 10 people who I've found that work as, like, you know, as, as counselors and, and life coaching and motivational coaching, et cetera, I always found – I think it's more of a vocation in life than a, than work or a job. It's something that I feel you have a calling to. And I always find that people have a calling for different reasons in their lives. Um, I think that there is something about them and that they've either empathized or sympathized with the group of people that makes them want to go ahead and do this. What, what was it that made you want to do this? Well, I, I would definitely agree with you on, on that, you know, for, the vast majority of people that I've interacted with uh, who get into a helping type profession, a counseling profession, or life coaching, definitely it's more of a, a calling than it is a job. Um, in most of these professions, you know, you're, you're not going to become rich, and that's not the point of getting into it. And, you know, for me, from earliest memories of childhood, I've always wanted some career path that, you know, would take me into um, – you know, helping other people, and I, I just seem to be innately a uh, positive listener for, you know, my friends, and 
as I moved through high school and then, you know, working in college, I, I just realized that counseling field was uh, probably the best uh, suited for me. And so I, I got into, uh, you know, doing the counseling and, and started out with uh, working with adolescents and I moved into substance abuse counseling and really made that my career for a couple decades and uh, totally loved the, the ability to, you know, help other people come to find a, a peaceful way of living. And, you know, that for myself is very fulfilling, but it, it's also taught me a lot. And, you know, I, I credit the, the great education that I received, you know, academically, but most of what I do now is because of the people that I have those interactions with. And, uh, you know, so I, I really credit them for helping me to understand what is it to live life, struggle with life and, and find peace. Wonderful. And so that's what you do now is you help other people to find inner peace. Now, how do you help them? How do you, uh, you know, help people? What do you do to mentor them um, to be able to get other people to feel inner peace? Because I think that's very important because I certainly feel that if you don't have inner peace, um, apart from the mental uh, ways that it can affect you in the spiritual way, I certainly believe it can also affect you physically as well. Um, so how do you help people with their inner peace? How do you help them find it? It, it really does. When, when we look at finding an inner peace, it, it's because people come to that understanding that something in my life is off balance. And I would totally agree with you that um, it could be, you know, the, the physical leading into uh, the emotional, the spiritual is all tied in with that. Um, but what we really come to notice is when people are saying they, they want to find the peace, the thing that I need to help them figure out is what is off balance in their life. And then we start to look at what was the cause of that unbalance, begin to look at what are some of the ways that they perceive themselves and, and their view of the world. And once we can make some minor tweaks on some of the ways that they're thinking and behaving, in a lot of cases, that's when they start to see that their life becomes better. And one of the, the main tweaks that we need to look at is how do I keep a focus on the present moment versus all of the worries and the stressors that I am having about what's coming up in the future. So I, I do give a lot of talks on, on that and uh, some of my writings and all, but that really, I think, is the key. If we can keep people focused on that present moment, everything else is going to fall into place. Right, because and that's, that's the one thing I keep hearing over and over and over again is so many people are so anxious and they're so anxious about tomorrow that, today is painful for them. Do you know, does that make sense at all? Right. Oh, oh, oh most definitely. It, it, you know, people lose, and, and, you know, it's one of those things that when somebody else says it, it, it begins to make sense, but it doesn't make sense when we're in the moment. Um, but, yeah, you know, we lose today because we're worried about tomorrow. You know, and, and the great things that might be happening today get lost because I'm worried about maybe what might happen tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah, really helping with, with the various techniques, uh, you know, how you focus on, on today and just, you know, either enjoy what's happening today or use today as a life lesson that, you know, might help you out tomorrow. But definitely I, I would say that's where most people, uh, you know, find the stress and anxiety is, you know, I, I'm worried about the future and, uh, but then you're missing all, all the good stuff that's happening now. Absolutely. And just just a very quick example of that is that my, my mother, um, last year in, in September, um, straight after she visit, uh, visited us in the U.S. and went back home to England, uh, the day she got back, she, had, she suffered a brain aneurysm. And believe oh. me, it's changed her life. Um, she suffered a brain aneurysm. Um, she went into surgery. She's fine. She came back in December last year, three months after her brain aneurysm. Um, they went to Australia uh, four weeks ago, and then they got back to Australia, back to, back to England on Monday. And my mother is, after having her brain aneurysm, she is less stressed 
And it's the craziest thing. She is less stressed about everything. And it's not because, and it's, it's sad because it took something as drastic as that for her to be able to be like this. But she's living each day like it's her last. You know, she doesn't worry about anything. And I just wish that with the help of people such as yourselves, we can all be able to enjoy today. Because as my mom says, tomorrow may never come, you know, and I just wish people could enjoy today. And and I'm so glad for people like yourselves, because it makes such a big difference in our lives. And one thing I did want to ask you was, with regards to uh, to what you do, um, what kind of um, ages do you do? Is it mostly adults? Uh, you know, what kind of age ranges do you do you find come to you, or do you deal with? Yeah, and, and you know, just a quick note on your mother, which I'm glad she's doing better, but the, she is that example of, of you know how I know people can live. You know, and and so it's great to hear that she's living that way, and and all of us can do that. Um, Typically, age ranges from what I'm uh, working with are people who are in their mid-30s uh, to about their 60s. Um, I do have a couple teenagers I'm seeing uh, who are just dealing with teenage life issues, um, but using some of the you know very same techniques. But I also have a, a lot of uh, gentlemen who are seeing me, uh, which I found as different because, you know, statistically more women see people for help than do men. And I'm in a rural community where almost everybody knows everybody. But it seems that, you know, when the men know there's somebody that they can talk to, who can understand them on on that level of being a guy, they're open to be able to say, you know, I don't feel at peace or I would like my relationship at home to be better, uh, you know, th- they have that freedom to open up. And, and what I'm trying to do is help them to do that when they get home so that, you know, they can do what they're doing with me, you know, with their partners. And, you know, then maybe that'll filter into the rest of the community. But um, but it, it's great to see that, uh, you know, a, a number of guys in, in this somewhat rural community are, you know, wanting to find peace for themselves. Absolutely. And, and, and you know what? Kudos to them for coming to you. I think that's wonderful. Uh, we have to go to a very quick commercial break, ladies and gentlemen. But before we do, our guest this morning, this afternoon, is Christopher Shea. He is the founder and CEO of Life's Journey Life Coaching, LLC, from Leonardtown, Maryland. Uh, go and have a look at his website. It's www.life's, with an S at the end, journeyblog.com. Um, alternatively, if you need to contact him, um, you can email him at chris at lifesjourneyblog.com. Stay with us. We'll be back after this very quick commercial break. New Day Yoga and Wellness, LLC. Stress, anxiety, the daily grind with no time. It is time to unwind with a new day. No matter your age, come to New Day, where yoga and wellness are reborn. You will look better, feel better, even have more energy. This is a new brand of yoga that even healthcare professionals can get behind. Come to New Day for the new you. Call 715-579-8545. Email Linda at NewDayYogaWellness.com. Go to NewDayYogaWellness.com. New Day Yoga and Wellness, LLC. Relax, renew, re-energize. Interactive Solutions Group has been in business for over 23 years. One company, three divisions, who can deliver solutions to your business needs. ESG acts. What is your product slogan? ESG is a compliance company providing quality insurance, monitoring for television and media clients, as well as developing and executing creative engagement strategies for media companies and clients and brands. Go to InteractiveSolutions.com or call 818-526-0600. InteractiveSolutions.com or 818-526-0600. Empire Broadcasting presents the Professionals Roundtable with Muriel Donnelly, 9 to 2 p.m. Hear what's hot in the professional world. Timely topics to propel your career to the next level. Professionals Roundtable, 9 to 2 p.m. Exclusively on Empire Broadcasting. 
Hi, this is Terry Crews, actor, former football player, game show host, father of five, and all around big dude. I'm also an expert on drama. I know all kinds of drama. There's the good kind that comes with having a house full of kids. There's the bad kind, like season-ending injuries. There's the necessary kind, like having an agent in Hollywood. And there's silly drama, like the drama around my percolating pectorals. And then there's the drama you can skip. Skip the drama that comes with not having your high school diploma or equivalency. Find free adult education classes near you and finish your high school diploma. Visit finishyourdiploma.org. Or text DIPLOMA to 97779. Message and data rates may apply. Reply STOP to opt out. That's DIPLOMA to 97779. And leave the drama to actors like me. Brought to you by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ed Council. Empire Broadcasting presents the Professionals Roundtable with Christopher Celery, 9 to 2 p.m. Hear what's hot in the professional world. Timely topics to propel your career to the next level. Professionals Roundtable, 9 to 2 p.m. Exclusively on Empire Broadcasting. Uh, Welcome back to Empire Broadcasting. This is the Professionals Roundtable. I am your host, Christopher Celery. I am uh, filling in. We have seemed to lost Muriel, uh, so I'm going to take over. Um... Christopher, I'm not sure where she left off with uh, as uh, we went to break, uh, but I want to give out your information. Uh, uh, Christopher Shea is the founder and CEO of Life's Journey Life Coaching out of Leonardtown, Maryland. Uh, he's got a website you can go to, which is life, lifesjourneyblog.com. Once again, lifesjourneyblog.com. And you can send him an email to chris at lifesjourneyblog.com. So, uh, Chris, welcome back to our show. Thank you so much. And I do apologize for the uh, technical issues going on at this point. Yeah, it's uh, great to be back. And, uh, well, you know, technology doesn't always work for the TV monitor, so. All righty. I'm not sure exactly where she left off. So um, uh, how are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good today, and uh, yeah, we were just talking a bit about uh, my clientele and the people that I see. Um, that's kind of where we ended off. All righty. Um, so, what kind of clientele do you have? Um, as I was uh, mentioning, uh, you know, it's the people who are looking to find peace in their lives. It's you know, people who notice that there's something not balanced and they want to get back to that balance. Uh, the age group right now, commonly the people that I see in my office, are uh, from around the mid-30s up into the 60s. Um, but one of the you know great things about the life coaching uh, side of what I do is you don't have to be near Leonardtown. And, and Leonardtown is... is a small rural area, and uh, so I do have an office there and gorgeous spot overlooking the water. But for life coaching, that could be done uh, online or over the phone anywhere in the world. And, uh, you know, so I would encourage people that if you're looking to, you know, find a, a life coach, whether it be myself or, you know, a different life coach, we all do online uh, sessions. So, you know, that doesn't stop you from doing that you know where uh counseling the, the actual mental health counseling uh, people are typically licensed for their own state so you know you would have to come to my office for that but uh just to help you find that inner peace we could do that anywhere okay well fortunately i was able to get muriel back on so uh muriel you should be there you should be able to hear him right i'm here and i can hear you <laughs> oh wonderful wonderful i was taken away with by some spirits <laughs> uh, I found some peace. Um, so I, I need to find out from you. Um, the, the one thing earlier you, you were talking about how the majority of uh, you know the, the people that come to see you are between the ages of, of thirty and sixty. Um, now, do they have similar issues when they come to you? The thirty-year-old compared to six-year-old? Or do things change as as they get older and life progresses? It, it's a bit of both, actually. Um, right now, most of the people who I see are trying to find their peace through uh, building a better relationship, uh, trying to be better at home, uh, better with their family, 
ways. So a lot of it deals with relationship interaction. Um, and not necessarily saying that there's a marital problem. I, I'm not a marriage counselor, and that's not what I'm doing. Uh, they just know that things could be better, and they want to improve themselves so that they can improve that relationship. Uh, and that's what I see throughout the ages. Um, the difference being is, you know, as people age, I am seeing uh, people wanting to talk about transition time, you know, moving from, uh, you know, what they've been doing in life to what are the next stages, you know, what would retirement be like, uh, you know, what is my identity, um, you know, if I don't have the job that I've had for, you know, 30 years or, you know, whatever it might be. So I do see uh, a bit of that, too, and, and that definitely takes people away from their peace. Right. And, and, and it's funny because, like, you, you, you I, I mean, I think sometimes you may think that, you know what, maybe when you get to a certain age or, or something that things will change or but but you know what? It's pretty much the same. That there's always there's always going to be something that people need. Do you know what I mean? There's always going to be something that mm-hmm. they need to 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 help them to to basically get through life. Um, and 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 I think that's that's that it's great because I find that sometimes sometimes I'm, I'm surprised because I think you know people in, the, in their sixties or close to their sixties. In the past, as you said, with the, with the gentlemen that come to see you, it would have been taboo to go and seek help because it's almost like a sign of weakness or you don't hang your laundry out. Do you know what I mean? Um, right. And I think that, that now people are coming out and just being like, I need help. I want to find myself. I want to feel good. And I think it's wonderful. And I, and I love the fact that there are, um, you know, male um basically uh, lifestyle coaches such as yourself out there who can relate to the the men out there and that they have someone to go to because they may have men issues that they can't talk to a, a female counselor about. Does, does that make sense? Well, it, it makes perfect sense. And, you know, when, when I first opened up the actual practice, and, you know, started noticing that it, it was males calling me up, um, I had talked to some of the local, you know, counselors, you know, and kind of mentioned, you know, hey, I, I'm not specializing in men, but all I'm getting are men, which is fine. You know, I'm just kind of confused. And a few of them said, well, you're the only guy counselor in the area. So, you know, without even recognizing it from that viewpoint, there is that notion that, you know, it is still, I think, somewhat taboo to, to talk to somebody else, but... Also, when they know that in the saying that I'm a life coach and in the sense that I'm going to help you get through some of the struggles in life, you know, I think that changes things because I'm not saying, you know, that it's counseling in in that sense that you have a problem. It's not so much looking and focusing on the problem, but to say, you know what, we all have issues in life and, and we all transition at times in life and sometimes we just need to bounce things off of somebody else. And, uh, so, that's one of the great things that, that I do see is that once you give them that opportunity, uh, you know, they're more than willing, you know, to come. And, and of the guys that I see, they run the gamut as far as uh, education background and their employment. You know, I mean, I, I got professionals to uh, pipe fitters and plumbers and, uh, you know, people who deal with septic systems. You know, it, it's like every, you know, uh, throughout the breath. So it, it just says, you know, as humans, we have these needs and, and this need to, to find balance and peace. And, uh, you know, I, I'm really grateful that, that they're willing to do that. Absolutely. And as you said, it, it, you know, sometimes people think that uh, when you look at somebody from the outside, like, you know, they have everything, like the CEO of something or they're a professor or whatever it is, and you think that, you know, oh, they're, they're, their life's cushy, it's great, it's great. But um, there are so many things that are underlying that you don't see always. And, 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 you know, and I think that it's great that these people are coming to you, and I think it's wonderful that, that they've taken the first step of recognizing, I think, which I think is the hardest part of anything, is actually recognizing that you need to go and t- talk to somebody, um, being being self-aware of it. I think that itself is is, mm-hmm. is great. Um, how long do people normally come to and, and see you for, Chris? Uh, what's the time period that most people come and and you know seek 
speak with you. Yeah, and, and all of it really depends on, you know, what's going on in, the, in their lives. I mean, I've seen some people for, you know, as short as, you know, a month or, or five weeks, and, you know, that was just to kind of get them, you know, something can happen in their life, and, and they just need to kind of get their footing back, and, you know, off they went. Um, I have somebody who has been seeing me uh, every couple of weeks now for over a year, and it's not so much because of a problem, but they just like to bounce things off. And, you know, it's they've feel comfortable doing that. So, you know, a lot of uh, our time spent as, as life coaching is, is to, you know, just, hey, you know, how's life? What's going on? I want to bounce a few things, you know, off of me, a few ideas, and, we, you know, do that. You know, where if I was doing just strict mental health counseling, um, you know, seeing somebody for that long and in that context, I, I wouldn't see myself doing that. Uh, but as a life coach, as, as kind of a, a mentor in, in that sense, hey, you know, if, if this is something that they feel, you know, is helping them, uh, more power to them. And I'm just glad that I'm, you know, able to sit and chat with them. Right. And um, very quickly, what is the process um, that people go through to decide, you know, if, if the two of you or, you know, if you guys are a, are a good fit? Um, what is the actual process? Uh, we, uh, if you're local, you know, we can meet for, you know, like a half an hour free consultation so that we can just see, you know, kind of my style and we'll just, uh, you know, talk back and forth on what's going on, and I'll give them a quick game plan. And if that's something that they think fits, you know, that that's great. Uh, if you're not local, uh, we can do like a uh, 15 or, or so minute phone call or uh, get on Skype or something and uh, do the same, you know, so that this way we can see, you know, are, are we kind of compatible in the sense that, you know, do you feel comfortable speaking with me and the quick game plan that I'm offering, is, is that something that, you know, you, you, you know, think fits. Um, because that is important. If, if, you know, we're not going to kind of fit in, in that certain sense, and the process isn't going to work, and, and they need to find somebody that it can fit, um, that they feel comfortable with. You know, and not everybody's comfortable with everybody. So uh, that, that's why I offer that. Um, and then we just go from there. Right. Because, and, 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 and um, you know, I, I, I think that these things, do you, do you find that, when people come to you, um, and, and, and just basically go in, in general, you know, to seek out help and advice, or just to talk to somebody, do you find that it's something that basically, once they've done this, it's something that they can take with them through life? Um, you know, the experiences that they that they get with you, uh, what you teach them, how you help them to find themselves, um, is it something that you know you can take through life and basically use in any environment or situation that you come across? Yeah, that, that's really the goal. Um, as I, I teach my college students, uh, you know, that this process is actually a very bad business model uh, in the sense that I don't want you to be dependent on me and to keep coming back to me. The goal is let's get you on a path that works for you. Let's teach you the tools that you need to stay on this path and then go live your life, you know, and, and be at peace, use your tools, you know, I'm here if, if you need, you know, need me, but my goal is you don't need me, and you just go on and, and live life, and, and that's really what I look to do. Wonderful, because I, cause, uh, you know, because I, I, I personally, like, I mean, and, and I go to my, uh, my chiropractor. <laughs> I go to her, like, once a month, every month. And, um, you mm -hmm. know, it's different, but I mean, like, I go to her for prevention. I go to her just because the fact that, you know, uh, I, I have a bad back. So for me, it's like I go to my chiropractor. I used to go to her, like, you know, once a week and then once every two weeks, et cetera. And now I go to her, like, once a month, every one. And that's my prevention uh, to make sure right. I feel good. So do you feel that sometimes it's necessary for people to come to you? Not because they need to, but just because of, like, a like a quick chat, like to an update to see where they are and how they're doing and maybe reinforce things for them? Mm hmm Oh, definitely. And I, I give all of my uh, clients that option and talk to them about the importance of, of you know, 
keeping up with things. Um, it, it's kind of like the person I was mentioning who's been with me over a year, you know, comes in every couple weeks. You know, it's, let's say from a, a pure counseling perspective, that there's no need for this person to keep coming in. Um, and as a counselor, I would probably say that. There's no need, and, you know, we're, we're going to end this. Um, but as a life coach, you know, again, he, he's coming in just because he needs that, you know, brush up. He, he needs that prevention and wants to make sure he stays on, on the right path. And uh, so as long as, you know, he wants to do that, you know, that, that's great. Um, I've also transitioned people in that way, you know, where we go from, you know, once a week to every other week to once a month to say, hey, you know, why don't you get in touch in like four months and let's just see where you are. You know, and that might even be a, a phone call or a quick half-hour session, but let's just touch base in, you know, like four months and uh, just to make sure that things are, you know, going the way that they want. Wonderful. Now, we've only got a couple of minutes left um, on our show here, Chris. So before we go, um, what, um, what kind of, like, last-minute thoughts or advice would you give our, our, our listeners out there with regards to, you know, when they should think to themselves, you know what, maybe it's time I go and seek someone to talk to just to help me, motivate me, etc. Is there a pattern or anything that people see and don't realize? Um, and, you know, what's the first signs of I need to go and talk to somebody? What should they be looking out for? I think the first thing is to get, don't let your fear of, of talking with somebody get in your way. Uh, I do believe that most of us know when we need to go talk to somebody. And, and again, we're not talking in a mental health issue. It's, you know, most of us feel, you know, life just doesn't seem on track anymore or, you know, something just seems off and I really don't know what it is, but I, I'm not feeling, uh, you know, myself. Um, that's when I would say, you know, get, give a life coach a call, uh, you know, and, and kind of just talk it out and, and see where you are. But I think the fear gets in, you know, uh, in the way of people. So if you notice that life just isn't the same, uh, you know, contact the life coach. And, uh, you know, we'll get you back on track to, you know, finding that peace in your life. Absolutely. Well, thank you so very much for being with us this afternoon. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, and, you know, for all our listeners out there, um, you know, I, I really, really hope that they've, they've been in, enjoyed everything because I know for a fact that I've been taking um, <laughs> I've been taking notes on everything that you've been telling us. So for our listeners out there, our guest this afternoon has been the wonderful Christopher Shea and as I said, he's the founder and CEO of Life Journey Life Coaching LLC from Leonardtown, Maryland. Um, go and have a look at the website which is www.lifejourneyblog.com or you can email him at chris at lifejourneyblog.com Give them a call at 301-850-2177. Again, thank you so very much for being with us this afternoon, Chris. Absolute pleasure, and I certainly hope we can have you back in the very near future. That that would be wonderful. I've really enjoyed our talk, and uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening to this episode with Chris Shea. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com.